What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna to be doing kind of a little bit of an experiment. And uh, what provoked this is I get a lot of comments on YouTube all the time, as most YouTubers do. And for the most part, everybody's calm and collected. But a lot of times I get these guys that say, Glock is just so much better than MNP, CZ is so much better than PPQ, PPQ is better than Canik, etc. So, being is that compact pistols are the most popular pistols on the market, I grabbed some of my compact pistols. I brought out five today. I have a Glock 19, an MNP 2.0, uh, PPQ, CZ P07, and a Canik. I wanted to get some of the different price ranges, and I wanted to throw a hammer-fired gun in there as well to try to see which one really is better. And I just want to do some simple drills to show you guys what I think I already know, but I guess we'll have to find out. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to run through a pretty simple like self-defense drill. I just want to put two rounds on each of those three targets right there. And I'm going to do it on the timer from the low ready with, I'll start with the CZP07, the hammer fired gun. Now, as a little bit of an excuse alert, I haven't shot in about a month. Uh, all of these guns are different, all the triggers are different, all the ergonomics are different, all the sights are different. And it's super cold out here. It's like 10 degrees outside. Turn the timer on here. We'll get her going. Two, one, four. Now we'll try it with the Glock 19 and we'll see how that goes. This is the Gen 5. All right, so 2.15, so 10th of a second here or there. It's probably me. Okay. Ready? And what's this? Canic Elite. Okay. The four inch version of the Canic. Okay. Two point one seven. You are like super close with all of them. M&P 2.0 Compact. All right, 1.89. I shoot this gun a lot. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Y'all, it is cold out here. And the PPQ. Too even. So a part of that again is that I'm speeding up through the drill because I'm doing it in a row. All these are one take, by the way. I didn't practice this beforehand. What is this? PPQ. Just start with it just because we had it in our hands. Now we're going to run a plate rack. Uh, we'll just run, yeah, we'll just run all eight. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, just do it. This time? 3.87. Cool. Might have to go in and warm up before the last yeah. two tests. That's fine. Okay. What's this? MNP 2.0. Okay. Wow. Time? 3.96. Okay. Okay, what's this one? Canic Elite. Okay. Whew. How much time? 3.89. All right. What is this one? Glock Gen 5. Three point seven one. Okay, and what's this one? The Mighty PO seven by CZ. <laughs> Missed one. Four twenty five. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the timer on and we're gonna put four rounds on a one third or two thirds IPSC target at twenty five yards. And what gun do you have? We're gonna start with the MP two point oh. Okay. Well maybe we are. Let's see how much ammo we have. I think we have enough as long as I don't miss. Okay. No pressure. Okay. All right, 302. Okay. 
Same drill, uh, Walter PPQ. <laughs> Fucking fast draw. <laughs> Two, 293. Oh, wow. Okay, which gun do you have? Same drill, Glock 19. You gotta oh, do shit. four. You gotta do four. I'll do it one more time. Can't get everything right. All right, 298. Not too bad. Okay, what gun? Same drill, Canic Elite. Gotta do 212. four. Do it one more time. I keep doing three. I don't know. Ooh. Time. 227. Like I got it when I did, too. Same drill in the frozen tundra of Iowa with the CZ P10 or P07. <laughs> I suck. We'll do that one more time. Trying to go too fast. 278. Okay. So now we're at 50 yards and we're gonna try to put three rounds on a very small IPSC target right into the sun at 50 yards. We'll see how we do. I missed one. Time. Total time is 7.42. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do the same drill, uh, M&P 2.0. We'll give that a shot. All right, 5.52 five, even with the first shot being a miss. All right, same drill, PO7, 50 yards, four, three rounds. Okay, 382. Man, this thing's a monster. Clock 19, hope I have enough. I get three rounds. Nice. Time. 390. It's cold. Last but not least, Canic Elite. I don't know if I hit the button, so I have to wait. Struggle is real. Somebody's honking at us too. No, it's them. Oh, okay. Another malfunction. On the. Canic Elite. Yeah. It's only 400 bucks, isn't it? Yeah, $400 gun should still work in the cold. This is the same thing that happened last winter. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on, it's not the thing. Struggle's real with the Canic Elite. I'm worried about the malfunctions, so I'm not thinking about the fucking accuracy. Okay. That's my excuse for just sucking real bad. And Man, my it's freezing. hands are so cold, my fingers can't work. Guys, it's freezing out here. All right, one last round with the Canic Elite. I'm gonna give it its best effort here to try to make it work. This has had way more chances than any of the other guns would, so try it one more time. All right, we're done with the Canic Elite. So the Canic Elite did not finish the test. No, it did not. All right, so what did we learn from this test? One, we learned that it's cold in Iowa and I'm freezing. The second thing that we learned is honestly, if you have a major brand, a quality brand handgun, and you spend the same amount of money on it as you would and you find one that you really like and fits you well, it can work for you. Reliability not being a factor and price not being a factor, the majority of modern day quality handguns will all do the job. And if you practice with them, you can do the job with all of them too, regardless of your own personal bias. Some of those guns I like more than others for my own personal reasons. The M&P, for example, stands out. It's probably my overall favorite to shoot at the range. 
just lower recoil. To me, it just shoots better. But that's just to me. There are people in the world that can shoot the PPQ better. There are people in the world that can shoot the Glock better, and so on. But you people who can do that have to remember that it is in fact situational, right? So you can shoot that gun better. That may not mean that somebody else can or can't. So basically, as far as I am concerned, now I haven't added up the times yet, but all of them felt very similar to me. Anywhere from the close range drill to the plate rack, which isn't a tactical drill necessarily, just more to show the speed and accuracy of the guns. It's a good example of that. The 25 yard drill, and then the 50 is not really practical either considering Honestly, if you look at the statistics, you're not going to be shooting at 50 yards. That almost never happens. But if it does, it's nice to know that you can do it. And it's good to practice that because it decreases your groups up close. It allows you to really settle down and make your hits. So I wanted to test the practical accuracy of these guns at speed. And I feel like I've done that just to show you, again, that none of the popular choices are necessarily a bad choice unless it's a Canik, apparently, because that had some serious problems. Now, the Canik doesn't have problems in the summer, for whatever reason, but when it gets really cold, like close to zero, like it is right now, the thing really struggles for some reason. So, I don't know, maybe it's just like me and it doesn't like cold. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. Uh, we have a Patreon account, and we are going to be doing the giveaway next week again for the two months because I missed it for a month. Again, sorry about that. But we're going to do two people again in a week for the Patreon giveaway. So if you feel like supporting me on that, it's in the description below as well, along with a link to a local homeless shelter that could use your support even more than I could. Please help out your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.